Okay, this is the Shure Motive MBI, and this allows you to hook an XLR mic up to your iPhone. I have the iPhone 6S Plus that I'll be demoing it on here. And it's a really well-made little device, but I will say there's a few things about it that are a little bit of a learning curve, like when you can monitor the audio and how you monitor the audio. For example, if you plug your headphones into your earbuds into the iPhone itself, you can't monitor out of the iPhone jack in real time. You can monitor if you plug headphones into the Shure unit itself, but I'm not sure if that's really giving you accurate monitoring as the what the iPhone is getting. So my level seemed a little bit lower when I was monitoring. It sounded nice and loud, sounded great, but then you'll hear at the end when I show the actual demo, it was a little bit low. So I've got to figure out how all that works as far as monitoring the levels, but the quality does sound good. The other thing that I have an issue with is this XLR plug on the back does not have a release latch where, you know, most of those XLR jacks, when you plug it in, it snaps into place and you can't pull it out unless you push, push the release. And I was hoping this had that because I was going to strap the XLR cable to my tripod leg and that way secure the device. You can't do that because the, the XLR cable could possibly pull out of the device because it's kind of heavy and the device would hit the floor and of course you'd lose your audio. And by the way, there's the little micro, what do you call those, micro USB connector. I hate those connectors, but that's how it connects. So that's another thing that is a so-so type thing, but not a deal killer by any means. And here's the interface. This is what you're welcomed with when you launch their app. And the neat thing is and I haven't confirmed this yet really, but what they claim is that whatever settings you put in here, then if you use it in whatever app, like the just the built-in iPhone movie app, it will remember those settings. And here you can see you t tap the mode dial and it goes from different presets, which is also kind of nice. So if you're out in the field, they have a preset for loud music, which I've had problems with other recorders in the past, you know, clipping they've got a preset for that so we'll see when we're out in the field how well that works and that's my use case for this is actually out in the field hooking it up to the iPhone and being able to use XLR mics so so my question for sure is why didn't they give a way for us to attach this thing to to anything there's no attachment point on the device at all there's no quarter 20 screw thread no way at all to attach this device to your tripod for example so I had to rig up a way. You'll see at the end here how I rigged up a way. By the way, there's my SM57 mic that I did the initial test. That's how you mute it, by the way, that mute button right there. And the SM57, I did my initial tests. A lot of flexibility on this interface, by the way. I mean, you can do really whatever you want to do as far as tuning your audio. But here, have a listen. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm still testing the unit here. And I'll tell you what, there's a few things that I do have some issues with not the least of which is there's no way to attach this thing to a tripod and the way the XLR cable plugs into the unit there's not a, a latch a release latch so it can just it's just pressure fit you can easily pull it out so what I was thinking I was going to do before I got the unit was strap the XLR cable to the leg of the tripod and then let just let the, let the unit just hang from that but the problem is it's a pretty heavy unit and it, it could possibly pull out and so I've got to resolve that issue but uh, other than that there's a couple of other little nitpicky things and one thing is it turns off anytime you're not in the record mode so even if you go to the playback mode to play back a video the unit turns off so you can't see the levels and all of that also you can't plug in a headphone and monitor on the iPhone itself when you're recording you can monitor at the unit, but I don't know if that's really giving you the actual levels in the iPhone. So I need to experiment with some of this. But uh, the main thing is that, sure, no way to mount this thing. There's, they could have put a quarter 20 in the bottom of it. They could have put some kind of a strap on it or just a latch for that XLR cable, just like any other you know, thing you plug in an XLR cable to as a little release latch. That would have solved the problem. But as it is now, it's kind of kludgy. i got to figure out a way to secure this device when I'm in the field and using it.
So anyway, I'm going to keep playing around with it. And I like the unit. It's a very heavy, very well made. But my gosh, why didn't you put a release latch on there? Sure. What were you all thinking? Okay, so one more thing I wanted to test was can we hook two mics up to this and what would the level be like? I haven't changed the levels on the, I'm going to call this a field mixer, uh, interface, whatever you want to call it. I haven't changed the levels on it. So here's this mic. Here's this mic. These are just hooked into a splitter and then hooked right into the Shore device. So we're just trying to see if we could use two mics in the field if we had to. These are both on 15-foot Mogami cables, and these are SM58 mics. So again, here's one of the mics. Here's another mic. Should sound the same out of each. So that's my test. So I do like the unit, even though I had to jury rig that Velcro attachment way to hang it. Uh, sure, come on, put, put a way to hang it on there. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think.